Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will break down for you how to make money as a pet sitter on Rover. If you love spending time with animals, for example, with dogs or cats, either at home or outdoors, I believe this printing method might be worth your time. How does it exactly work and how much can you expect to make as a pet caregiver on platforms such as Rover? Well, keep watching to find out. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're on the homepage of Rover, probably one of the most popular and frequently visited platforms that provide pet care services to pet owners who are in need of trusted sitters to take care of their dogs and cats. For example, while they're not at home or if they don't have the time to go on a walk with them, platforms, or I should rather call them marketplaces, such as Rover, for instance, will give pet owners the opportunity to order various pet sitting and dog walking services for an affordable price. These services cover, for example, house sittings, drop-in visits, or simple dog walking sessions, or so-called boarding services that will allow a customer's pet to have a sleepover and stay overnight at a sitter's home, that will be treated like part of the family in a comfortable environment, or services such as doggy day care, your dog spends the day at your sitter's home, drop them off in the morning and pick up a happy pup in the evening, and even entire dog training sessions through one-on-one -on -one video chats. And that's where you come in guys, because you know, these pet sitting services need to be provided by someone, for example by other passionate pet owners, or simply by people who love spending time with cats and dogs, for instance at their own home, at their customer's place, or outdoors. Get played to play with pets, which is exactly what we are looking for, right? Rover makes it easy and promotes you to the nation's largest network of pet owners, Earn money doing something you love. There you go. Working as a pet sitter through Rover will allow you to benefit from the following features. You will be given the flexibility to set your own prices and schedule so that you can decide how much or how little you would like to work. The option to combine any of the offered pet care services and the freedom to set size, age and other pet preferences that work best for you. It's easy, I go to the calendar and mark myself as available when I want to be, says this testimonial here. Now, all of that sounds pretty interesting, however, since this is a real business we are talking about, I assume you would like to know how much you can potentially earn with your own pet care services. Well, that depends on a variety of factors, for example, on your offered services length, its type, and also on the location of your client. On average, though, you may expect to get paid $28 for boarding services or for having your client's pet in your home overnight, on average $25 for taking care of your client's pet at their home, $25 per drop-in visit, also $25 per daytime pet care in your home, and lastly $20 per completed dog walking session. So I'd say these are maybe not the best payment per work rates in the world, but they are pretty decent. Plus, guys, take into account that some of these services, I'd say even the majority of them, don't require actually any hard work from you. I mean, surely, if you have your client's dog or cat for a sleepover at your home, for example, you become responsible for its safety and well-being. You will have to feed it, play with it, make sure it has its potty breaks, for instance, if it's puppies or senior dogs we're talking about, and all of that stuff. Plus... Pets, dogs and cats alike, love getting a lot of attention. If you have your own dog or cat, you probably can relate to that, I'm sure. So all in all, taking care of your own or of someone else's pet might be considered a pretty occupying task sometimes. Nevertheless, I wouldn't consider it hard work. I mean, take dog walks, for example. While walking your client's dog, I'm sure you will have quite a lot of leisure time left for yourself too. While taking care of your client's dog, you will have the freedom to... I don't know, listen to music on your iPhone, for example, or talk to someone on phone while still giving your customer's dogs the attention it needs and deserves. So I'd rather call this an enjoyable side hustle or hobby that will give you the chance to earn some money on the side, like 20 bucks per completed dog walking session. I mean, who doesn't love pets? And if you like, you can scale up and turn your pet sitting or dog walking services into a real side hustle or even business to earn 40 50 or even up to $100 per day, provided you get hired often enough by customers, of course. Speaking of offering your services, 
To become a pet sitter here on Rover, simply click on the sign up button in the top right corner and register using either your Facebook, your Google or your Apple account or use your email address for that alternately. Next, select one or more of the available pet care services we just talked about. Select at least one service you're interested in. You can always add more later. If you select more than one service, you will only see one of them during the sign up process and after your profile is submitted for review, you can edit your selected services or add more. There you go. So I will go with simple dog walking sessions for the sake of this tutorial. And on the next page, they will ask you to A, complete your pet sitter's profile and B, to fill in a short application form. To get approved as a pet caregiver on their platform, complete the required steps below. Once you've completed the required sign up steps, your profile will be auto submitted and reviewed to ensure accuracy and quality. You will receive an email from them within 24 to 48 hours that you've been approved or that you need to complete additional steps and resubmit in order to be approved. Which makes sense because you can assume they only want to work with people who are really a good fit and who they believe are 100% dedicated to this profession. For faster approval, make sure you upload high quality photos, write a descriptive description of yourself and your services and be sure to proofread everything. There you have it guys. Start with your dog walking settings. And these will be on default, but you can edit them anytime and set for example a price per walk, your availability per week, how many clients can you serve per day and what days of the week will you typically be available for dog walking, your service area, your dog preferences and settings like that. You can assume most clients will request from you to go on 30 minutes dog walks on average. Next, create your profile, submit some basic info, various contact details and also don't forget to upload a bunch of expressive photos of yours. I would suggest you take photos that show you with some of your own pets or in general with animals always smiling of course, to make a great first impression on your future customers. And once that's done, go through a short safety training that will help you familiarize yourself with the do's and don'ts of professional dog walking and teach you how to react in specific situations like, you know, reading your clients, dog's body language and stuff like that so that you know how to keep everyone safe, react properly in these situations and not lose control over it. And lastly, submit your profile so that Rover can review your application and approve it or ask you to reapply if needed. Now guys, one last thing to mention, signing up on Rover is free, however they ask applicants to pay a one-time review fee of 35 bucks that goes towards their quality assurance process and is non-refundable. So guys, it is up to you if you'd like to invest into that and get approved as a pet sitter on this platform or not. So that's how you can earn money by walking dogs in 2023 on Rover as a beginner. Well, and that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time.